Hey everybody, it's Jimmy Moog. And Kelly Bell. And we are here to give you some insider info on our new map, currently featured, Food Park Tycoon. Okay, it's Kelly's map. I just helped a little bit. Oh, you did all the mechanics for it. Yeah, well, you know, whatever. It works, <laughs> I guess. Anyway, we are here to show you some extra special tips and tricks and things to help you beat your friends mercilessly and make them cry. Oh, don't make them cry. Well, where's the fun in not making people cry? Ugh. Anyway, <laughs> just kidding. But no, yeah, we'll we'll show you some things that uh, you might not know about, and they can help you get an edge. And any edge in this game can mean the difference between winning and losing. So, for starters, not really a tip, but we do have it enabled for matchmaking, so you can play with others and be on Team Durberger. <laughs> Let's go ahead and launch it. All right. Heading on in. And I got Durberger. Awesome. <laughs> the first thing you're going to want to do is collect 10 coins so you can buy this extra help over here. And remember, you're not going to be automatically gaining any money until you buy at least that right there. So I recommend, you know, make that be number item number one on your checklist. And I got my 10 coins, buy my extra help. The next thing that I do is I go and claim some zones. I get at least one, and hopefully two, depending on how many people are out and about. Dancing does make it go a little bit faster. Every zone that you have claimed, you will get two coins per second. They can add up pretty quickly. I know it doesn't sound like much, but if you hold multiple zones, that will be a big help. There are four total zones. There are two outdoor eating areas and two playground areas. So if you have all four, you're going to be looking pretty good. Additionally... There are some things that you can buy. Oh, boy. Not the cans. The cans are free. You just have to dig through the trash. Yeah, well, I was getting there. <laughs> you can buy a bush in the playground areas. And that will allow you, that'll give you an extra hit, first of all, which can be crucial in a uh, close can fight. But second of all, if you have a bush on there, See, I'm kind of obvious right now, but if you're wearing a bush and you hide in a bush, hilarity ensues when you're just sitting here like this and somebody runs in and tries to take the zone from you and they don't see that you're just sitting here and it won't work and they can't figure out why. Over in the outdoor eating areas, you can buy shockwaves. By the way, I recommend stealing those zones whenever they're not yours. So memorize your team's color. That's the easiest way to tell if you have a zone, if you don't have a zone, if somebody is stealing your zone, if you need to whip a can at their head. Ah, rude. <laughs> Speaking of cans, I'm gonna show you right now where you can get those cans. Well, stealing my zone's one way to get cans, if you know <laughs> what I mean. The trash can by the door over here will give you some cans. And uh, another quick tip, that door off to the side is usually the fastest route to at least one of the capturable zones. So the if you're trying to grab one in a hurry, I'd take that door first. The next thing you want to buy is the kitchen. That's only 50 coins. And then you can upgrade all these other ones, any particular order that you want to. You gotta, this is a duo's map, so you gotta work with your partner Say so the way the mechanics are set up, one or the other of you will be earning from any of these. So it's good if you split them up a little bit, so that way you know you're each getting some gold. Um, I would, I would recommend one person focus primarily on getting gold, and the other one focus primarily on you know taking and holding zones, things like that, and sabotaging. Yeah, but we'll get to that. What's that you say? Sabotaging. Are you going to go sabotage me now? 
Who, me? I would never do such a thing. Mm -hmm. That's a nice looking kitchen you got here. Be a shame if somebody set it on fire. What are you doing? <laughs> that is one way to sabotage. Just put out your fire right here. Unless somebody's throwing cans at you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Oh, sure. Anytime. Just so you know, he snuck in through the vents. Yep. Oh my gosh! I thought you left. <laughs> I know. That's why the boxes are there. <laughs> All right. Get out of here. All right. You can also sneak back out through the vents, which if what? Callie will leave me alone for a second. Hey. You can use them to head back to your zone as well. But uh, you do have to buy the... You can get into the vent as soon as you buy the kitchen, but you do have to buy the doors into the other restaurants. So make sure you have at least 250 uh, gold before you go in. Let, let's go ahead and go in the vent. <laughs> and he's Jer Burger, so I'm just going to go through here. I mean, nothing. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> not doing anything at all. <laughs> I have a little helper right now. Can you say hi? hi. <laughs> that is one of our registered play testers. And I think he wants a snack. Well, we're playing the right map for it. Anyway, so yeah, the vents are a great way to get around. Um, but there is another thing that you can do to sabotage your opponents. And uh, oh I think Kelly's going to come demonstrate that momentarily. I am? Yeah. Cool. I had to do some upgrading. Yeah, uh, okay. Okay, you're going to go to the back of the restaurant, behind the restaurant, go in the trucks, look for this tablet right here, and just sabotage those supplies. It will completely, well not completely, it will just reduce the in, hi, reduce their income for 30 seconds. It does not include the, the capture areas, so you'll have to go get those from them. Yeah, any income from inside or immediately touching the restaurant. Which, speaking of which, Callie, follow me over here for a second. <laughs> I'm not going to hit you with a can yet. <laughs> speaking of, make sure when you're buying all your upgrades that you don't forget this one right here. Because this gives you five gold per second. It is the most expensive restaurant upgrade, but it also pays the best. So when your income hasn't been restricted by somebody who came and sabotaged you. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Was that funny? Then that's going to be your biggest payout right there. But speaking of big payouts, uh, Callie, if you want to run to the center square for a moment. So everybody has a button right next, just to the immediate right of their cash register if you're standing behind the counter. And when you push it, you buy the advertisement. And the advertisement will change based on who's bought it. It costs 400 and it pays out a lot. I forgot how much. <laughs> um, well, well, 10 gold per well, second. Yeah. There we go, what she said. Um, anyway, yeah, so it uh, pays out 10 gold per second. But the thing is, it costs 400 to pop. So you can buy it and your opponents can buy it right back from you. Like I just did. Yeah. And then you can see, if Callie's heading into the circle again, you can see that it changes what's on the sign until you buy it back. There you go. And I you will get a heads up alert every time an opponent buys the advertisement. Um, not just if they're buying it from you. If anybody, if any of your opponents buys it, the other three teams each get the heads up. Uh, one piece of advice. Um, if you see that somebody has bought 
default the advertisement. Wait just a few seconds. Let them walk away from it because you don't want to go in a bidding war with somebody and spend lots of gold. Just let them walk away and then buy it back a few seconds later. Yeah. Think about this. It's 10 per second, so it takes 40 seconds before you have earned your investment back and are starting to you know, uh, earn money from having the advertisement. So if you buy it and your opponent buys it and you buy it right back immediately, you've just doubled the time it's going to take. So now you're 80 seconds, which is uh, almost a minute and a half of nobody touching it before you even break even from having bought it. Now, there is one other very important thing that you want to note, and that's buying your office once you've bought everything else. The office doesn't earn you any gold. The office gives you a place you can put your gold. And as you can see, we're starting to gain points. That's because every 200 coins you drop in is 200 points on your score, and whoever hits 10,000 points first wins the game. A uh, tip on this, I like to keep right about 600 and when i hit six i'll put in you know if i'm just uh, kind of depositing gold because that way if you see a good chance to sneak over and buy the advertisement you're guaranteed to have at least 400 that you can run over and buy it and so that can be a big help too especially if you're a uh, in a tight race like this one was a little while ago but all of a sudden it's not <clears throat> <laughs> I'm kidding. I've seen Kelly come back from like a 4,000 point deficit before. So that's another pro tip is don't play against Kelly. <laughs> um, uh, but uh, that's the, uh, I mean, really and truly, that's the main gameplay right there. The rest of it is just, you know, making good use of your cans, making everything that's available to you. Uh, bushes, shockwaves, you know, you don't want to go stocking up because every time you buy shockwaves or bushes, that is one time you could have one set of gold that you could have banked instead. But um, the more zones you're holding, if you're holding the advertisement, you'll start making a lot of money and like we said before, all the money that you're earning from the zones and the advertisement will keep going even if you've been sabotaged. Now, a, a word about the sabotaging too. If you do the one inside the kitchen where you light the stove on fire, that will stay like that and they will not, the uh, team will, the opposing team will not be alerted that you have set their kitchen on fire. Um, and that will stay like that until they put the fire out by interacting with the extinguisher there. On the other hand, if you um, sabotage them using the tablet inside the truck behind the restaurant, that will alert them, but there's nothing they can do for 30 seconds. All of their money from inside the restaurant has been put to a stop, so the only thing they can earn is from the uh, advertisement or the capture zones at that point. Yep, that's basically it. Uh, I can't think of anything else we have. Just remember, you want to keep your gold banked. Um, if you're playing as a duo, I would, uh, like I said earlier, you know, let each of you buy one or two restaurant upgrades so that you're both earning some gold. But then after that, one player focus on unlocking the whole restaurant and maintaining that. The other player focus on taking zones and uh, sabotaging and you know just generally running interference if a player has jumped ahead of you make sure you sabotage as often as possible to reduce or eliminate their um their gold earnings so that you get a chance to try and make the uh difference back up and that's about it uh one thing that i do have to say eliminations don't get you anything um, it's a good way to defend yourself, but I wouldn't go after people. It's yeah. It, it's yeah, not going to gain you anything. It's just going to waste the time it takes you to eliminate them. And say they come over to your restaurant and they set your stove on fire, and then you eliminate them, you've just given them a free ride back to their restaurant instead of them having to run back over. So it can even... It can even hurt you if you uh, focus too much on eliminating players. That was the whole idea was we wanted this to be more about strategy and less about who's better at whipping cans at somebody's head. That's about all I got. Anything else you got, Kelly? 
Nope, that's about it. Okay, well, thanks so much for watching. We hope that uh, you enjoy the video, and we hope you picked up some good tips to uh, help beat your opponents in Food Park. Um, and by all means, you know, if you like what we've done here, please use either of our codes in the item shop. It's a huge help, even if it doesn't seem like much, and it doesn't cost you anything extra. Well, thanks so much for joining us, and have fun playing Food Park. Bye. 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 Do you want to say bye? Can you say it a little bit louder? Bye, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, buddy. <laughs>